Hi, um, my name is Conrad A. Panganiban. So I am Jennifer Ligaya. Hi, my name is Ashley Dekilia. I am a second year MFA student at UIC. My name is Rohan Joli. Pronounce them, shot and ta. My name is Pauline Bruce. I um, have been working in the performing arts for a very, very long time. <laughs> I am a, a stand-up comedian and an actor. The reason why I am a playwright is to share our stories because I don't feel it's been represented. Um, so we we were kind of born and raised in kind of the West Side slash Humboldt Park. And um, there wasn't really a sense for us of community, especially um, access to our Filipino community. I started becoming more you know, like curious about my own identity. And it was like opening up Pandora's box of history. You know, trying to find stuff in TV and watching TV and seeing seeing if you could see somebody that looked like you or. I guess important for me to always invest in the community, especially when as an organizer, I am always working in regards to uplifting um, Asian communities on the same level or the same intention. A lot of my artwork is about the horrors of colonial legacy. My biggest goal is to is to raise awareness um, and just help out, you know, just help out our our Filipino community. Using my art, I think, is a way to suspend disbelief, but also like liberate people of their biases. So I think it's like up to artists to to be the ones to convey that story and that message about their own lives and about their families. That's when I realized, like what we were talking about earlier, not just affecting a Filipino-American community, not only feel, um, affecting an Asian community, but just affecting a whole community. A lot of my work is community-based, the power of extending voice and the power of storytelling. I think that a lot of my artwork nowadays is very much reflective of the work that I do as an RN. Um, just be one. I just want to be one of those people that can elevate our voice um, and just take it to the next level. And and you know, I I, I just feel like, and even in the healthcare community. We don't get enough recognition. The Filipino nurses don't get enough recognition. It's kind of finding these stories and then crafting them into a story uh, where people can relate to them. My only advice would be just do it because that's all I've done my whole career. I will be blunt. Don't give a f what other people think. Um, also, of course, like it's your mentor, editor, and that resonates with you, of course, but like, you know, if, if someone's coming not from a place of love and a place of, I want to grow you as an artist, but from a place of like, you know, complete bigotry or complete like negative, like, fuck that. like <laughs> um, um, you know, as it is, especially in the States, uh, live, working in the arts is tough, but um, the wealth of the soul is so much more rewarding um than financial wealth i i think sometimes so i can't say that it is just as simple as do what you love it's it's a lot more than that um but i will share a quote by nora zeal hurston um and i share this in my thesis as like the introduction if you mm -hmm. are silent about your pain, they'll kill you and say you enjoyed it by Zora Neale Hurston. I think I think the advice that I can give is one, just believe in yourself. <laughs> That's the first thing that um that you should always try to instill. Like never um let any of the doubts that you have get in your way. Um, you know, because we all dream of doing something and that dream cannot happen unless we believe in it.